Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley, and welcome to Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. Once again, Julie Storm's on the show with me today. Thank you for being here, Julie. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here, Stephen. We are into 2016 and thoroughly enjoying this year. And uh, we had a great 2015. I just went to New Orleans for the National Realtors Meeting. Um, 15,000 realtors were there and learned a whole lot. I understand uh, we got some awards here. We do. Um, I'm honored my team went with me and we won number one in North and South Carolina. Um, and we won ninth in the world wow. for Keller Williams um, groups. And so that was an honor to receive. And it's just an honor to be able to come back and they see Rock Hill and Fort Mill show up on all these announcements and people say what is going on in Rock Hill and Fort Mill that's allowing you to be ninth in the world and I tell them that we're in a great market a booming market people love real estate here they love their homes and um, and it's an honor to serve the people's needs here for real estate yeah we're growing like crazy in fact I just recently met with the city and we've got you know, all this recreational stuff going on with the BMX championship coming into yeah. 2017 and all that and they said that now within that world they can say Rock Hill and they don't even have to say South Carolina now that people know exactly where we are. Absolutely. 20 years ago I would go to these meetings and I would say I'm south of Charlotte uh -huh. and now I say Rock Hill Fort Mill and um, we've certainly done a wonderful job um, as a community on getting national recognition and I can remember 20 years ago when the first chain restaurants were coming to Rock Hill and it was such a big deal and now you ride around and look and you've got so many options to eat and shop, so many things to do. Um, the more I travel um, in my life, the more I realize the Carolinas is a great place to call home. Absolutely. And um, few people come here and then leave not saying this is one of the best places they've ever lived. And being in my job, I get to see that on a daily basis. And I had someone just tell me a few weeks ago, they said, we've lived 19 places since we've been married. This was a couple in their 70s, and they'd lived here for six years. We sold them their home, and we sold it when they left. And they said, this is the best place we've ever lived. A lot of friendly people, and it's yeah. a lot of nice things. Well, what else did you learn in your, uh, at your conference? Maybe some trends in real estate coming Absolutely. up? Absolutely. I, I was in meetings with all 15,000 people. It was an honor to speak at a few of those meetings. Um, and then I'm, so I'm in, a, in a group meeting with the top 100 in the world, them sharing ideas. They're on the front line of what's going on. And, you know, we all know that there was a real estate drop starting here in 2008 and ending um, at the end of 2012, beginning of 2013. And um, as, as we've recovered there, I, probably the one thing that I could bring back and recommend to folks, if you bought uh, at the top of the market in maybe 04, 05, 06, the beginning of 07, and you wanted to move, probably now's the time because we've had a full market recovery. Lots of people have asked me in the market recovery over the last four years, Stephen, where, when will we back, be back to our old pricing? And um, unfortunately, we've had to go out to a few people over the years and their home not be quite worth what they paid. Now's the time to probably move. Okay. Because the homes are back worth what you paid, if not more. Mm -hmm. and, and interest rates are good. Yeah, and interest rates are at three and a half percent. So, you know, a couple of thousand more, 10,000 more really doesn't change a, a, a house payment. And so it's a good time to seize that house with those extra bedrooms, that larger garage, that larger land, maybe properties that are more convenient things like that because interest rates really control the price of a home. If rates go up 1% from 3.8 to 4.8, nobody really pays attention, but it causes a 10% increase in the cost of the house. And so um, interest rates really being low still, they will go up and they are going up and um, um, they getting uh, locking in a right now is huge too. So it's a great time to sell and it's a great time to get that new loan and lock it in for 30 years and, and, and no matter what rates do, you've got the rate you've locked in forever. Right. And so the real estate market will have ups and it will have downs and you've got to remember some people win when the market's at the top, many people win when the market's at the bottom. We've got thousands of past clients who got great deals on real estate in 09, 10, 11, 12. And so they, they're just sitting on tons of equity right now. So you want the market, you want the start market to rise and fall, buy low, sell high. And real estate's gonna be that same type market. So we're at a high, probably a great time to buy. 
and interest rates being low makes it a great time to, um, it's a great time to sell and it's a great time to buy. What's the inventory like on homes <clears throat> right now? Right now, builders are having a hard time keeping up with supply, so are providing supply for the demand. So right now, there's a shortage of homes. There's a home for everybody still, but there's not 30 to see. By the time you narrow it down to the area that you want to live, maybe the school district, if you want your master up or down, how many bedrooms you need, you probably got four to six houses to see. And there's a lot of other people out there competing against that home too, so it's not like yeah. you can just We put a home on the market the Friday, today's Wednesday. We put a home on the market last Friday, Monday. We had seven offers. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, that's good to hear unless you're one of those seven buyers because <laughs> six did not get the home they wanted. And so I would say when the home buyers are out there shopping, Julie, have your first choice, but have a backup second choice also. Don't be afraid to offer full price on the number one, your number one choice because you hate to, you hate to ride by a home the rest of your life that you didn't get over the cost of a cup of coffee a month. So maybe a two or three dollar payment difference wins you the house. And we definitely can help, our, help buyers obtain the home they want. Um, our buyer won that competition because we gave them great advice and really their payment changed, I think, a dollar fifty, but they got the house. Well, it sounds like you guys have all the tools and everything needed to help the home buying process, buyer or seller, and it's proven with uh, with these great awards that you've gotten. And uh, well, I appreciate that, and it's an honor to be recognized. But the greatest reward is helping people buy and sell real estate here in our area. Thank you for being on today's show. We've got beautiful homes for sale in your area, so please stay tuned. We'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.